minor league season hasn't officially been canceled yet, but teams are starting to acknowledge that there likely won't be pro baseball in Montana for the first time since World War II. MTN's Tom Wiley hits the rewind button and looks back on the history of baseball in the Treasure State. Not many Montanans might know the names Dave McNally, Rob Johnson, or Steamboat Williams, but they might not know that the first Montana native to ever reach the major leagues wasn't even a player, he was a mascot. Brownie Burke, a bellhop at uh, a hotel in Mammoth Hot Springs, had been discovered by the owner of the Cincinnati Reds. And, and back in the day, um, mascots were little people. He ended up meeting presidents. He would deliver messages uh, to players when they were cut. Jeremy Watterson and Skylar Browning are the co-authors of Montana Baseball History, a 2015 book detailing the past century plus of America's pastime in the Treasure State. The joke at, at the beginning when we told people we were doing a book on Montana baseball was is that there must not much, it, it's going to be a short book. But then we found more and more and more stuff. And even after the books come out, um, we continue to find stuff. And through their research, they learned that Lewis and Clark played a similar game called Prisoner's Base while they were making their journey west. Well, it may have been a stick and ball game, but uh, um, we know that the core of Discovery played it. And that the first professional baseball league in Montana dates back to 1892. Uh, a plumber and an implement dealer wrote a letter to uh, something like a dozen or more towns in Montana asking them if they wanted to start a baseball league. And Bozeman, Helena, Butte, Phillipsburg, Missoula, and Great Falls got on board. There are countless anecdotes from the barnstorming early years to the Hall of Famers that came through the Pioneer League. And with the future of low-level minor league ball in doubt pending an agreement with Major League Baseball, Montana is in jeopardy of losing part of its sports history. I think we lose a generation of fans, myself, you know. People recognize when they're at an Osprey or, or a, a Voyager's game or what have you that they are seeing like professional athletes, and for Montana, um, there's no other option for that. Now that's just the tip of the iceberg for the history of baseball in Montana. You can learn more by picking up Watterson and Browning's book, Montana Baseball History, or visiting the Montana Baseball History Facebook page where the conversation continues. Reporting from home, Tom Wiley, MTN News. Thanks, Tom. In total, 23 Montana-born players have made it to the major leagues.